show you quickly uh, the butler door, portable door opening, and goes through there. On mine, because I run the two and a half inch hose, I have it there. And these just push up in place, kind of lock in place. They can get busted up every now and then if you're not careful. Uh, what takes place is on the inside here, too, is there is actually another plastic piece, might be hard to see there, kind of bolts in place. And these two pieces, to get that through the door with the bore saw, they actually have this nice uh, glide part here that goes together like this goes through your door so this is on the outside the other part goes through the inside uh, billet aluminum <laughs> unbelievably nice part it really is worth every dollar helps keep uh, from getting the whole side of your vans and everything built up now you can get other things marine type covers and shut offs you'll see on certain portables and things like that important part when you're cleaning cold environments somehow get so that you can actually seal off or close your doors to keep the elements out as well. So I know those of you running slide-ins, you're going to have some venting. You're maybe going to vent rolling down the window part way or venting in the back or you're going to have something on the roof vent. This here is for direct drive so it works awesome. So anything you can do to minimize the amount of air and heat escaping, wonderful. The other thing we will do with a truck mount, I will take, because the heat exchanger is under the lid here, and we don't use the heaters in the van going, I will lift that lid so the heat will come up and get into the whole cab, the whole cab of this here and help heat up. So just a couple of other uh, tips there for helping to uh, control the environment so you don't freeze up inside.